uh, some of the testing methods that are used. Um, one of the things I'm going to say right off the bat, okay, I know a lot of people believe in these testers, okay. They are good testers, they serve their purposes, but there's too many things that are involved with these. This one um, goes from 5 to 1,000 volts AC, okay. So the slightest little bit of voltage, like a bleed through from a dimmer, dimmer or something like that, can actually give you a false reading, okay? But right now I got the sensitivity to the minimum and it, it'll read it out. And as I bring it all the way up to the highest point, okay, it's reading good. But you actually have to stick it pretty close to get in there. You go on your lower sensitivity, you got to get it in all the way, okay? If you put it in the neutral side, you're not going to get anything out of it, okay? Now, my, one of my preferred methods is to use one of these GFI testers, okay? And you can use the GFI tester on a regular outlet as well. But just by plugging it in, it's got... Uh, a chart here and it'll actually tell you what's wrong uh, hot ground reversed hot neutral reversed uh, correct in this case and uh, it'll tell you if it's got an open ground there's no ground wire or whatever so when you're sent out to do a, a hot check and you go around and you test all these you can have a hot wire in there but no ground wire you can have a hot wire in there but no neutral this is not for checking, um, a hot checking before you leave the job and say, I'm done, it works, okay? This is more like it, although this will give you a little bit of a low reading too. You can have 95 volts on that, you can have 90 volts on that, and you're still going to get that, okay? One of the things, and then I'll go to the other tester, one of the things is with the GFI, you got two different types of GFIs um, as far as the indicator lights are concerned. This particular one right now, um, the light's not showing up. As soon as I trip it, that indicates that it trips. Another manufacturer works the opposite. The light is on when it's in good shape and there's no problems. <clears throat> one of the other testers that I use is my Fluke. And I can test it and get a good reading. I got 122 volts there. One of the nice things I like about this too is if you can't uh, read it for some reason, you can hit the hold button and pull it out and you, it'll hold the voltage in there. You can do the same thing with your amperage and your own readings and everything else. I, that little hold button is pretty nice. That's actually another way to tell that the outlet is doing what it's supposed to do. It's got 122 volts between hot and neutral. You stick it down in the ground. Okay, you got 122 volts, so you know you're good there. I'm not saying you have to do this on every single outlet, but the other testers, just those little uh, voltage testers to see if there's voltage present, that doesn't give you a good clear uh, indication of what's happening in that outlet. Okay, now we've got another one over here. I like this one because it's got a little light on it. But uh, if you get up a little bit closer to it, you notice it'll turn red there. As I get away from it, it's blue. It's starting to indicate some voltage. But red means that it's it's hot. There's live wire in there. And then the one that came with my strippers today that I bought. This one's really pretty cool because you can get right up to the source. One of the nice things about this one is you can just get right up close to it and these will snap into your uh, strippers as well. And that way you can just kind of turn your strippers around and check and see if you've got any voltage in it. Okay, Those are several different types but my biggest beef with people is when I ask them, did you hot check it? Does everything work? They go out and they take this tester, they stick it in the hot side and say, yep, everything is good. 
then I get a call back and I got to go out there at nine o'clock at night because the freaking outlet's not working. And I go out there and I'll plug that in and it'll come up and there's no neutral. So the these testers, they're okay just for testing real quickly, but they pick up stray voltage. So you got to be careful of the stray voltage on these. All right, well, thanks for watching. And uh, this is only the second video that I've, live video that I've done. So hopefully with a little bit of practice and some improvement, I can bring you some better quality videos. But this will get us started. So thanks for watching. Have a great day.